Team Help through your MLB Show 21 Diamond Dynasty team. Check out the sponsor of today's video, AHMLB.com. 20% off from June 21st to July 5th, and use code DEVO for an additional 5% off at checkout. What's going on, guys? It is DEVO here, and we have a roster update dropping next Friday, but now is the time you have to go ahead and take advantage of the low prices on these live series cards and go all out on the ones you want to potentially invest in, all right? The ones you think that are going to go from gold to diamond, the ones you think are going to go from silver to gold, and all of that jazz, all right? So we're going to go ahead, hop right into this one. I'm give you some of my best picks to go gold to diamond like i was saying probably just gold to diamond this video i'll do a separate for silver to gold because i have a few gold to diamonds want to break down jump right into all right let's just get right into this video i was trying to get 100 likes on this video for this roster update prediction video usually these these do pretty good so let's try and get 100 likes all right let's try and get 100 likes right here and if you're new here and enjoy my content consider subscribing to the channel as we're in the road to 7,000 subscribers let's get right into this one Before we go ahead and hop into this video, I want to let you guys know that there is a 200,000 stub giveaway going on right now. I am partnering with AHMLB right now, and we are giving away 200k. Okay, one person is going to go ahead and get 100,000 subs. The other two people are going to get 50,000 stubs each. That one will be chosen on July 6th. All right, if you want to go ahead and enter, all you have to go ahead and do is subscribe to my YouTube channel, and you have to go ahead and follow my Twitch as well. All right, Twitch will be linked in the description down below. Once again, winner chosen July 6th. The winner will be chosen on one of my twitch followers and it'll be message on twitch so now that we got that out of the way let's go ahead and hop into the actual video the investment portion of today's video and the only portion of today's video so the first thing we're gonna have to go ahead and do like always is sort by live series players obviously we have to sort by the live series players and we're not going to be working with diamonds all too much because I don't think you can make too much stubs. I'll, I'll show you one guy I do think that could be potentially a good idea maybe to invest in it in case he does go up when he hits the 90 threshold. Matt Olson. Okay, Matt Olson will be going up to a 90, 90 overall for sure. He will, I, I, I expect him to get that jump 100% in next Friday's update. So he will get up to a 90 plus, whether it's going to be a 91 and 92, who knows. But... If that jumps up his price, then this might be a good car to go ahead and invest on. But that's really it for diamonds, okay? It's really, really risky. You never know what you're getting yourself into with these diamond investments because you don't know how their price is going to affect them, okay? You really, really don't. Take a look at Freddie Freeman, one of those guys that has gone up to 90 overall here and there. He was up to 48K when he was in 90 overall, it seems like, and now he's down to 10K. So it does seem like investing metal also might be a pretty good idea, but I'm not going to get into that much because that one is very, very risky. I want to take a look at the golds, okay? We all know we had 10 golds that went diamond last roster update. 10 golds that went dying that, that's that's got to be breaking some sort of record okay and one of my tips i gave you on the little market glitch that allow you to get diamonds after the fact you can put these orders in it's still it looks like these orders are finally coming down a few days after the roster update two days down to 25 we're down down to 1191 3000 for wheeler 2000 for simeon 22 to 2 for lance lynn and it seems like these orders are pro finally getting down 2500 for Marte. 2555 for Cattell Marte. So if you took advantage of my tip right there to go ahead and use the market glitch that allows you to keep these orders in, especially when they go diamond, then you should start to see your orders being processed in the near couple days. All right, so the first guy I want to go over is George Springer. Right? He was hurt at the start of this year, and he's finally coming back, and he's ready an 84 overall. His card is really good. He's playing up to an 88 overall, actually an 87, because I do have him at parallel one. But once again, the inside edge doesn't matter too much when it comes to these roster updates. If you take a look at his stats right now, he only has 19 at-bats on the season, but it seems like he's finally coming back. Okay, he's played almost every single game that the Blue Jays have had the past week or so, and he's had a few hits. He's at like four hits, I believe, on the year. Yes, four hits, three runs. So if he keeps it up, he definitely can go ahead and see him upgraded to diamond. And once again, this one's a little iffy because I don't know how he's going to do when he comes back. I mean, he's back, but I'm not sure how he's going to keep it up. He's batting 158 right now, but that's only because he only has 19 at bats. So George Springer could potentially go diamond. As you can see here, he's at 3275 if you were to put in an order for him, but you can buy him now at 3800 So seems like people believe he does have the shot to go diamond and i don't blame them all right he's a good player definitely has a talent to go diamond it all just depends on how he does 
does now, especially coming back from that injury. Next guy I want to go over is Jared Walsh, okay? Some of you guys were thinking he might went down in the last roster update, but the only thing that's killing him is his hitting versus lefty. 38 contact versus left, 74 power versus left. So that's what's killing him right now, okay? Undeniably been playing pretty good in real life, but... I want to stay right, stray away from this card, at least for the time being, because he is not good against lefties. The only reason I'm going over this video, I mean, on over this card in today's video is because you guys were really, really high on Jared Walsh. And yeah, I'd be high on Jared Walsh if they only counted his stats for his righties. But his, him against lefties in real life is just not the move. And that's the only reason he's not a diamond right now. Next, I want to take a look at his 84 for Freddy Peralta. One of the more expensive guys, but definitely one of the more locks for next Friday, okay? So 2.25 ERA on the year with 92 strikeouts and 64 innings, but more recently in his last three starts, he has only given up eight hits, four earned runs, and he has struck out 24 batters, and he has eight walks, so I mean, the eight walks does hurt him a little bit, but the 2.25 ERA on the year is really, really good, okay? And the strikeout numbers are really good. Let's take a look at his stats right now. His walk time is already low, so undeniably everyone knows that he walked a few batters here and there but his strikeouts per nine could get upgraded with the 24 strikeouts in three games is a really really good amount right there and his earned run four in the last three games it's not awful at all it's actually pretty good for freddie peralta so that's why i like him but once again he is on the expensive side so i'm not sure if you want to go all in on him if you haven't already next i want to go over is 84 overall matt barnes okay he's only a 2000 sub so really good potential to make you a ton of stubs right now and we'll take a look at his stats on the year 2.73 era 47 strikeouts 26.1 innings pitch but more recently his last three appearances 625 628 and 629 he is an inning pitch in all of them he has only two hits given up in those three innings he has four strikeouts in those three innings and zero earned runs zero walks and zero home runs as well obviously the zero home runs if he has given up zero earned runs but yeah matt barnes a really honestly he's really low this i put him on this list because of the price and because he's doing pretty good in real life okay wouldn't mind seeing another closer go diamond i think matt barnes might be the one so that that's a more than double your stubs right there if you invest in matt barnes right now so he could be a very good option next i want to take a look at his 84 overall to oscar and hannah's and it seems like his town over there at toronto actually it's not even in toronto anymore because they actually do not even play there right now they're in some other i don't even know the state they're at right now but it seems like his production and his town and his news in the media is all shadowed by vladdy jr because of his 26 home runs on the year but the oscar hernandez has been silently raking okay he has six hits in his last three games two hits a pop in all three of those games okay he has one walk only he has three strikeouts in those games so i mean you don't like to see those three strikeout numbers but he also has four runs so he has scored four times as well he he also has three three RBIs in those three games as well so doing really good you can definitely see those hitting numbers get up especially depending on how he's doing versus righties fielding I mean it's the feeling that hurts him yeah but still he only has to go up one as you can see the plus 13 right now he's up plus 13 against the lefties and that's going to give him a plus three overall so just give him I don't know plus plus four to lefties if you want give him a plus four to lefties or maybe a plus four to righties and boom he's already an 85 overall Next, I want to take a look at Ozzy Albis, right? He is expensive at 4,000 subs. And of those cards that, man, if you didn't get into him, at, like, last roster update, I get old well, roster update, people thinking he's going diamond anyway. So he was never really cheap for a minute now. But he's been playing really good in real life. He Last game, he had a three-run homer, I believe, or two-run. I'm not sure. Actually, I think it was a three-run home run. Um, but yeah, okay, he's been hitting good in real life. I do expect him to go diamond this roster update. I thought he was going to die in the last one. I think this one's the one for him, though. The last guy I'm going to go over in today's video is 83 of our Gene Shigeru, okay? He's had 1,212 stubs. If you were putting orders for him, he just came back from the injured list last night. Just came back last night, and before he got injured, he was demolishing the baseball, okay? He had two three-hit games, two multi-hit games. He was just putting on display. He had back-to-back walk-offs. Gene Segura was really good. And I think if he gets back to that, he could be an easy lock for diamond, okay? He was raking the ball, and that power does him no justice on this card right now. He has a diamond defense, so there's only so much hitting upgrades he needs to actually go up to an 85 overall. I think Gene Segura could definitely be a really, really good option. Once again, he came back last night against the Marlins. He had one run, no hits, only two at-bats. He had a walk as well. Two strikeouts, unfortunately, but once again, it's one of those cards 
very low risk okay because no matter how many cards you buy you can only lose 200 subs max on him so it's gonna be low risk but if he if he gets it going like he was before his in injury i think you can definitely see him going on the road to dime maybe this friday i mean maybe this coming roster update next friday but maybe the following one but i think i really do believe he has the shot to go dime next friday if he keeps it going if he gets it going i should say as he was before he got injured <laughs> All right, boys, well, that's the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Right, let me know if you want a part two of this. I didn't go over everyone. There's definitely some more names I could have gone over, such as John Carl Stan, Gallegos, Grisham, Verdugo, all of them. Let me know if you want a part two for this. I'll get that out eventually if you want that or maybe you want the silver or gold next and then a part two. Who knows? Just let me know down below. If you made it to this point in the video, comment the diamond emoji because all these guys are hopefully going diamond. Let's hope for that, all right? Well, once again, if you enjoyed this video, let's try and get 100 likes on this video. Smash the like button. Smash it. Okay, comment the diamond emoji. Like I said, if you made it to this point in the video, you are a real one. And we'll be live on Twitch later tonight, running out the last of the event. And we're almost done. We need like eight more wins to go ahead and get Jason and Ming, guys. I'll be I'll do a game plan on him, then I'll sell him, and I'm gonna go all in on investments. All right, gonna go all in. I wanna have a big payday next Friday. Okay, I'll catch you guys in the next one. If you're new here and you enjoy my content, consider subscribing to the channel. We're going to 7,000 subscribers. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.